Hello everyone. Through this video, we will discuss the questions in exercise 4.1. So, first of all, we should know what is the meaning of a quadratic equation. I think all of us know that. See, a x square plus b x plus c equal to zero, where a is not equal to zero. This is the general equation for a quadratic equation. The basic thing is that the degree of a quadratic equation should be 2. Second degree equations are known as basically quadratic equations. So we have to check whether the given equations are quadratic or not. Anyways, in this equation, we have a left hand side LHS and RHS. So we will start from LHS. It is given as x plus 1, the whole square. Here we have to use the identity which we have learned from 8th standard onwards. a plus b, the whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square. We will apply it over here. Here in place of a we have x and in place of b we have 1. So it will become x square plus 2x plus 1. Okay. Then what is on the right hand side of the equal to symbol it is 2 times x minus 3. So first we have to open that bracket. While opening the bracket we have to give this 2 to each and every term inside the bracket. So it will become 2x minus 6. Then in the next step we have to equate these two right. This is our le left hand side and this is our right hand side of the equal to symbol. So in next step we will equate these two x square plus 2x plus 1 equals 2x minus 6. Anyways we have a quadratic or a second degree term over here. There is nothing to nullify this term over here right. So we know this is a second degree equation while rearranging all these things we will get a second degree equations. So we can say this given equation is a quadratic equation. And this is the second part of the same question. We have to check whether this belongs to a quadratic equation or not. As we have done in the previous question, first we will write the left hand side. Here it is not that much complicated. And here on the right hand side, we have to give this minus 2 to each and every term inside the bracket. So minus 2 into 3 is minus 6. Minus 2 into minus x is plus 2x. Anyways, again, we can find that there is nothing to nullify this x square term over here. So this also belongs to a second degree equation or this is also a quadratic equation. Then this is the third part of the question. Here we have... LHS and RHS. Okay, on both sides we have to apply the same identity which we have learned from the standard x plus a into x plus b, which is x square plus a plus b into x plus a b. Okay, so here in place of x we have x itself and let us do LHS first. Okay, LHS is x minus 2 into x plus 1. Okay, applying these. Okay, here in place of a we have minus 2 and in place of b we have positive 1. So x square plus a plus b will be minus 2 plus 1. Minus 2 plus 1. See, minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 because here we are actually adding two numbers. One is positive and the other is negative. And we know the magnitude of negative number is greater. So the answer will be uh, negative. And we have to subtract the smaller from the bigger. So it is minus 1. So we have minus 1x. Then minus 2 into 1. Minus 2 into 1 is minus 2. This is our analysis part. And then we have to find out what is our RHS. That is x minus 1 into x plus 3. Here also we have to apply this same identity over here. In place of a we have minus 1 and in place of b we have positive 3. So x square plus a plus b. See minus 1 plus 3. 
Here also we have uh, we are actually adding a positive number with a negative number, and the positive number is greater in magnitude, so the answer will be positive. And we have to subtract the smaller from the bigger, so it is two. So two x and then minus one into three, that is minus three. So we got our, our LSS and RSS in expanded form. Then we will equate them x square minus x minus two is equal to x square plus 2x minus 3. See, what happens here is we have x square term here, but see, the same thing we have on both sides. That means we will get cancelled. So, we can't say this is a quadratic equation. This is not a quadratic equation because this is not a second degree equation because x square terms are cancelled out. Actually, we cannot apply any identity over here. Because here it starts with x minus 3 and here it is 2x plus 1. So you just multiply like this x minus 3 into 2x plus 1. First we will multiply the second bracket with x. So x into 2x, 2x square. Then x into plus 1, that is plus x. Then minus 3 into 2x, minus 6x. Then minus 3 into plus 1, minus 3. Okay, this is our LHS. Then comes the RSS part, which is x into x plus 5. Just take uh, the term which is outside the bracket x into x, x square plus 5 into x, 5x. Then just equate these two. Uh, this is 2x square plus x minus 6x minus 3 equals x square plus 5x. Anyways, we have to check whether this belongs to a quadratic equation or not. So, it is not compulsory to solve all these parts. Anyways, if we uh, solve it, this is x minus 6x means minus 5x. Okay, leave it. Anyways, we have an x square term over here. Here also we have x square term, but check the coefficients. See here it is 2x square and here it is x square. So when we take this x square to the left hand side, we'll, it will be like this 2x square minus x square. See here this x square term is positive when it is taken to the next side or left side of the equal to sum, it will become negative. So 2x square minus x square, then comes this term. Okay, minus 5x, then minus 3 equals. 5x. Anyways, 2x square minus x square is just 1x square. So see, it belongs to a quadratic equation because here we have a second degree polynomial or second degree equation is of here. So it is quadratic. Then comes fifth one. Here also we have to open the bracket. LHS will become 2x into x. 2x square, 2x into minus 3, minus 6x, sorry, yeah, then minus 1 into x, minus 6, minus 1 into minus 3, plus 3, this is equal to, then comes the right hand side, x into x, x square, x into minus 1, minus 6, 5 into x, see, 5 into x, plus 5x, 5 into minus 1, minus 5. Okay, this is LSS and here in blue cross we have the RSS term. Okay, now just check whether this belongs to quadratic or not. Here we have x square terms on both sides, but here it is 2x square and here it is just 1x square. Anyways, when we combine all these things, we will get, see that there is one x square left behind. So this is also a quadratic equation, just like the previous question, we will have one x square left behind. So this is also a quadratic equation. Now comes the sixth part of the question. x square plus three x plus one is equal to x minus two the whole square. For this x minus two the whole square, we have to apply the identity a minus b the whole square, which is a square minus two a b plus b square. Okay, let us expand it using that. We will get x square minus 4x plus 4. 
and on uh, LSS, we have x square plus 3x plus 1. See, we have x square term on both sides, but with the same coefficient, so we can cancel them. Anyways, any x square term left behind? No, no x square terms. That is, this is not a quadratic equation. This is the seventh part of the question. Here we have a cube, right? X plus two, the whole cube. And here also we have a cubical term, it means two X comes to the inside. Then, okay, X plus two, the whole cube. To expand that, we will use A plus B, the whole cube. A cube plus B cube plus 3AB into A plus B, right? This is the identity we know. So this is X cube plus 2Q plus 3X into 2 into X plus 2. Okay, this is X cube plus 8 plus 6X into X plus 2. And this is our LHS. On our RSS, we have this thing, 2X into X square minus 1, which is we have to take this 2x inside, it will become 2x cube, then 2x into minus 1, minus 2x. Then we have to do equating on, uh, mean LS is equal to RSS, that is x cube plus 8 plus 6x into x plus 2 is to be equated to 2x cube minus 2x. Here, the problem is that we have x cube term on both sides. And one more thing is that the coefficients of these x cube terms are not same. So we cannot cancel them. That means this is a equation of degree three. Degree three means this is also not a quadratic equation. Then comes the eight part here also we have x cube term. But listen, when we, when we uh, just expand the arches, let us check x minus 2 the whole cube using a minus b the whole cube. Okay, so the identity is actually a minus b the whole cube, which is a cube minus b cube minus 3ab into a minus b. So it will be x cube minus 2q minus 3 into x into 2 minus x minus 2. Okay. So we can apply it in the given expressions like this. x cube minus 4x square minus x plus 1 is equal to x cube minus 8. See, this is minus 8. Minus 2. Q is actually minus 8. Then minus 3 into x into 2, that is minus 6x into x minus 2. x cube, x cube terms will get cancelled. On both sides, we have x cube terms with the same coefficient. So what is left? Minus 4x square minus 6 plus 1 equal to minus 8. Then we can take this minus 6x inside, minus 6x square, then minus 6 x into minus 2 that is plus 12 x. Here we have x square terms on both sides and we can understand these two terms will not get cancelled because their coefficients are not same. So this is a quadratic equation because its degree is 2. Now here comes the second question of the same exercise. The question is like this, represent the following situations in the form of quadratic equations. Okay, this is the first part. The area of a rectangular cloth is 528 meters square. So we have a rectangular cloth. Its area is given as 528 meters square. Then the length of the cloth in meters is one more than twice its breadth. This is the thing we have to give more concentrated. See, here the length of the plot. Here, this is the length and this is the breadth. Okay. So, length of the plot is one 
more than this is length is one more than twice its breadth twice its breadth thing is like this if b is taken as x then length will be 2x plus 1 okay then we need to find the length and breadth of the float represent this as a quadratic equation it means the area is given here right area is length into breadth okay so we can say length is 2x plus 1 length into breadth is x this is equal to the area 528 okay just take x inside 2x square plus x x into 1 x equals 528 see we to uh, to get the proper proper form of quadratic equation we have to take this 528 to the left side so it will become 2x square plus x minus 528 equal to 0 this is the required answer this is the second part of the question the product of two consecutive positive integers is 306 we need to find the integers so the consecutive integers how do we get the next integer from the current number see if 1 plus 1 is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 like that goes right so if the first integer is taken as x the next integer will be x plus 1 this is the situation and what is given here the product of two consecutive positive integers so the product of x and x plus 1 is 306 this is the thing so we have to take the x inside x square plus x equals 306 to make it in the proper form we have to take that 306 to the left side so it will become x square plus x minus 306 equal to 0. This is the third part of the question. Rohan's mother is 26 years older than him. So we have Rohan and his mother. Okay, Rohan's mother is 26 years older than him. Means if Rohan is in X years, her mother is X plus 26. Rohan's mother is 26 years, 26 years more than him. The product of their ages in years, three years from now will be 360. The product of their ages in years, three years from now so the years or the age of rohan now it is x and now her uh, his mother is x plus 26 so after three years right after three years means we have to add a three over here so rohan's age will become x plus three and his mother's age will become x plus 26 plus three right then what is given the product of their ages three years from now will be 360. That means we have to multiply these two. So x plus 3 into actually x plus 26 plus 3 and 26 plus 3 is 29. So x plus 29 is equal to 360. This is the equation. Now this is of the form x plus a into x plus b, right? x plus a into x plus b identity so x square plus a plus b into x plus a b in place of a we have 3 and in place of b we have 29 so it will become x square plus a plus b 29 plus 3 is 32 x plus a b 29 into 3 87 plus 87 equals 360 okay and in the next step we have to take this 360 to the left side so x square plus 32x plus 87 minus 360 equal to 0 then this is 87 minus 360 for some students it is more confusing so to remove that confusion just 
make this negative or this minus as plus minus. We know when a positive and negative comes together, it is negative. So plus minus 360. So it is actually adding a positive number with a negative number and the negative number is bigger in magnitude. So the answer is negative and we have to do the subtraction 360 minus 87. So it is 273. So it is minus 273. So we have to apply that over here. It will become x square plus 32x minus 273 equal to 0. So this is the required quadratic equation. This is the last question of this exercise. A train travels a distance of 480 kilometer at a uniform speed. If the speed had been 8 kilometer per hour less, then it would have taken 3 hours more to cover the same distance. We need to find the speed of the train. Okay, so what are things are given? The distance to be traveled, right, by the train. The distance to be traveled is 480 kilometers. Okay, then there are two cases. In first case, in first case, let the speed be x. Okay, so the time, speed, distance covered. These are related, right? Actually, we know from physics, we have learned speed is distance by time, right? So just uh, we can apply this over here. Speed x. See, we have taken it as x is distance 480 by time. Let it be t. t is the time taken in first case. Okay. Let it be like this. Then comes the second case. In second case, the distance covered to be covered is same. And what about the speed? If the speed had been 8 kilometer per hour less, so here the speed is this x minus 8, right? If the speed had been 8 kilometer per hour less, then it would have taken 3 hours more. So time would become t plus 3, right? It would have taken three hours more to cover the same distance. So how can we represent it mathematically? Speed, x minus 8. Speed is equal to distance 480 by time. Okay. And using these two, that is we have two, two relations right uh, with, uh, between x and t using these two we have to find what we have to find x see find the speed of the train we have to find x okay so for that we have to substitute t in terms of x okay because we have to find the value of speed that means here it is uh, written as x to get x, we have to remove this t from over here. So how about we can do time? Just rearrange it like this. Time is taken over here. So time will be 480 by x. Okay. Now we will apply it in this equation. Time as 480 by x. Then we will get the answer. So we, it will be like x minus 8 is equal to Okay, x minus 8 is equal to 480 by 480 by t plus 3. And in place of t, we will write 480 by x. 480 by x plus 3. Because here we have a plus 3. Okay. Now, in this equation, we have only one variable like that. That is what is speed. To make it uh, in a proper form, we will just uh, multiply, see, the denominator part here with x. See, x into 3 like that. So, it will become 
480 by x plus 3 is equal to 480 plus 3x by x. Right? 480 plus 3x by x. So we can write it like this. 480 by 480 plus 3x all divided by x. Now, a denominator's denominator is actually numerator, right? So it will be 480x by 480 plus 3x. Now, what we have is x minus 8. From here, I have taken that x minus 8 is equal to 480x by 480 plus 3x. Okay, again, we can take this 480 plus 3x to left side. Here it is in the denominator that is divided by is the operation over here. When it is taken to the next side, it becomes multiplied by. So it will be like this x minus 8 into x minus 8 into 480 plus 3x. 480 plus 3x is equal to. Here we have 480x, 480x. Okay, now we can just open the bracket. X comes inside first. So 480x, then x into 3x, 3x square, then minus 8 into 480 plus minus 8 into 3x, minus 24x equals 480x. On both sides, we have 480x, so we can cancel them. 480x on both sides, we can cancel. Then what is left? 3x square minus 24x. From here, we, I have taken that 24x minus 24x minus. We can divide throughout by this 3 because all these terms are multiples of 3. So it will be x square minus 8x minus 1, 2, then 1, 2, 8, 0 equal to 0. So this is the final answer. Thank you.